Hi, I'm Mike, and welcome back to the 30 and 30, where today we're going to spend 20 minutes or so and talk about the bottle calves. This is number 24. Please don't die on me. Holy hey, is there any chance I can get some help? That's right, this is number 24 on our way to 30 episodes in 30 days. The 24-hour uh, live stream just a few short days away, and uh, I really hope that you can join us for some of that. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll actually have a schedule posted on our website, rymlife.com, here before too long. Lots of projects, uh, lots of calves, and of course, uh, lots of the ranch coming to you live from Northeast Wyoming for a full 24 hours. That happens on the 29th of April, starting at 7 a.m., going through through the 30th at 7 a.m. So, should be a lot of fun. Today we're talking about calves, and of course, calving season is, is pretty much everybody's favorite season on the ranch. These calves that we're taking a look at out here, they're with their moms. They've got protection, they've got company, and uh, they've got the health factor that their mom actually passes on to them through her milk and through her colostrum, her first milk. And uh, it's kind of cool to see the 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 circle of life that these cows that were born on the ranch are now raising their own calves. Like this one, number 77. Hey there, kiddo. But there are times on the ranch when a calf needs a little bit of help. And our hope is that when a calf does need help, we can bring it into the barn and we can nurse it back to health and then we can give it back to mom. But sometimes it doesn't quite work out that way. my friends is how we end up with a bottle calf like Brutus here this big old bruiser <laughs> and then Bella one of the sweetest little bottle calves that we could ever have come here come here The story of how these two, Brutus and Bella, came to be on the ranch is very different. Brutus's mom uh, passed away within minutes of, of giving birth to him from a uterine prolapse. It was not pretty, uh, but we managed to save Brutus and it was really kind of touch and go with him for a little while. He was a super big calf, uh, weighing a little bit over 90 pounds, and uh, that can cause all kinds of problems, but luckily, as you can tell, he's got all kind of energy, and he's ready to go. Bella here actually came from another ranch here in Northeast Wyoming, uh, where we brought her on to basically keep Brutus company, because we didn't want him to be alone, and they had a bottle calf and decided they didn't want to take care of it. Uh, we said, we'll take it, and uh, there we go. Now we ended up with Bella, and Brutus. Today, Bella and Brutus get to go over to the yard, um, our house, and uh, hang out with Bean, our dog. But first, we have to get them some lunch. So we're gonna go make bottles, and then we'll come back, we'll feed them, and then we'll take them to the yard. Okay. 
So as those calves out in the field, they have their moms and their moms provide them with food and company and warmth and guidance. These guys have none of that, which makes them complete delinquents. But it's our job to make sure they have food and warmth and as much guidance as we can give them. The warmth, of course, comes from being in a nice warm barn, but the food comes from powdered milk. Every day, currently, at this point, they're each eating two bottles in the morning, so a full gallon each in the morning. They eat um, a half a gallon each for the midday, midday meal, and then in the evening, they'll each have another gallon. So lots of milk replacer uh, being used and, and heading into these calves to keep them healthy. Milk replacer is basically powdered milk. It smells really sweet. Um, we also add some probiotics for these guys, which is a total prebiotic and probiotic, uh, which we add directly into their milk just to kind of help them out a little bit if they need it. Since they're not getting really anything from mom, it's all through us and milk replacer. And then we just top it off. Now we do it again. all of our bottles and all of our blender and mixing materials and everything are washed after every single serving but I'm not gonna bore you with washing watching me wash dishes nipples go on each bottle and then we're off to find our calves hopefully they're right where we left them I guess we'd be in trouble if they weren't somebody would start to ask questions so we've got our two bottles here. Um, we talk about giving them guidance and their moms are able to teach them how to cow. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to do that very well, but we can use food as a motivator. Hey guys. Hey, come here. Come here. What do I got? Bella. Bella. Okay, so. <laughs> now we've got both of them knowing that we've got the bottle and hopefully they're both going to follow us. This is what I'm talking about. Food is a motivator. They should come right along with us. Come on, guys. Where are we going? Come on. Look we'll at the door for you. Whoop, oh, so slippery. Come on. Filming this is like trying to film a herd elephant. Come on. All right, you guys, Bella. Come on. Come on, Bella. Come on. Come on. Get in here. All right, there we go. So this is lunch. Stop 
pakai Oh, pellet. All gone. I think Brutus can eat about two bottles in the time that it takes Bella to eat one. Oh, I hear Bean. Come on, Bean. Oh, Bean's gonna come out and play with her friends. Let's go, play. Bella's still not quite sure what to think of Bean. Huh. And of course Brute is here. Huh. You're just a you're just a brute. Okay. So these guys will get to hang out here for the entire afternoon and have fun being cows. gang it's uh well it's quite a while later it's almost six o'clock now and uh it's time to bring those delinquents back in get them back into the barn give them a couple more bottles each for their nighttime bottles and then we pretty much kind of leave them alone overnight they'll stay in the same corral but they uh well they get to be cows and not dogs or dogs that think they're cows or cows that bark. It's getting cooler and colder out here. Temperature's down to about 32 degrees. I should have brought over a bottle to uh, coax these guys in, but I'm not even sure where they're at. Um, they gotta be in the yard, right? Somewhere. Hey, come on. Hey, Brutus. Brutus. Wake up, bud. Come on, Brutus. Let's go, you big boy. Come on, let's go. Come on, get up. There you go. Okay, let's go. Let's go home. We gotta go back. All right. Come on, Bella. Let's go. Come on. Come on, girly. Yeah. Look at you. Bella. Bella. I'm going to go back and get Bella. She's going underneath the trampoline. Come on. Hey, Bella, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Where are you going? <laughs> come on, Bella, let's go home. Come on, Bella. We might have to go get a bottle to get her to come. I tell you what, let's take, uh, let's take Brutus here back. We'll drop him off. We'll go back and get Bella. And then grab bottles. He knows where he's going. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Let's go in this stall this time, it's open. There we go. Okay, you hang out here. Wait here, I know I'm gonna go get Bella. You wait here. Okay, let's go back and get Bella. 
So dealing with calves, obviously, for during our nightly chores adds a few <laughs> minutes or, you know, hours on to nighttime chores, but it's definitely worth it to be able to get these guys outside for part of the day and uh, out of the barn, get them out, stretching their legs. Moving around is kind of the big thing because we want to make sure that uh, that they do move. So I thought about seeing if Bella would fall for an empty bottle, but that's kind of cruel, right? So we'll just make a bottle. We're going to give her bottles anyway, so we'll just make her a bottle and see if we can coax her back into the barn with it. And then at least she'll have a head start on Brutus, who can finish his bottle in about a minute flat. Let's go see if this will help her move. Come here, Bella. I got a bottle. I got a bottle here. Here, hey. Oh, there we go. That's good stuff. This will help you move. Okay, let's go now. Where'd you go? There you are, right behind me. Come on. Come on. A little food motivation. Never hurt anybody. Here we go. Success. Here. Come here. You wanna finish this before you go in with Brutus? He tries to steal your bottle. There you go. And then the second bottle, once uh, she's done, we can move down here and, and give it to Brutus. Brutus, you want some? I don't think he'll ever turn down a bottle. Brutus does have a, a bit of a milk mustache now. So not only are they getting milk, but they're also getting a calf starter. Excuse me, buddy. They're also getting calf starter, which looks like this. Um, this actually has some powdered milk in it. So it has the smell of powdered milk so that they want to kind of get in it and start nosing around. Literally, uh, Brutus here is two weeks old today and he's already starting to eat solid food, which is which is great. He's also eating fingers and, and everything else that he can get a hold of. So he is going to be a beast. Bella, our hope is she'll be the beauty and she'll stay on the ranch for a very, very long time. So I'm gonna finish feeding these guys and I'll cut you loose for the day. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. The 30 and 30 rolls on tomorrow is number 25. And then we are just a few more videos away from the 24 hour live stream. That should be a ton of fun. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with the uh, bottle cows today. And uh, until later, well, until tomorrow, <laughs> we hope that you have a great night. We'll see you next time on our Wyoming life. Come on, Whoa. go in there. Get in there. Get in there. Go see your boyfriend. There you go. Look at you guys. And you guys. Trouble. <laughs>